Today, we're seeing exactly how far I can pump up my credit limits across my collection of credit cards. Honestly, I'm sick and tired of Stan the Credit Frog dangling his massive credit limits above my head. The fact of the matter is, never in my life have I requested a credit line increase on any card. Sure, card issuers have given me increases throughout the years, but this will be the very first time that I'm initiating the request and I'm bringing you along for the ride. So here's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna go through each of my cards, starting with the lowest limit and working my way up. And depending on the card's current limit, I may ask them to double or even triple the limit. Now, if the card has a low limit, I'll ask for more. But if the limit's already high, like on my Venture X, which has a $30,000 limit, I'm certainly not gonna ask them to triple that. Now, you may be saying, well, Josh, what about the card issuers that hard pull for credit line increases? Well, I'm not looking to get any hard pulls from this journey, and that's why I'm gonna freeze my credit before we dive into this process. Now, we do have to remove any cards that don't have traditional credit lines, which for me is just the MX Gold card. So that leaves me with these credit cards. 17 personal credit cards and three business credit cards. These 20 credit cards collectively have $241,400 in available credit for an average of $12,070 per card. Now, usually with credit line increases, the card issuer will be more likely to approve it if you're actually using the card in question. So with that said, I will be showing you the most recent statement balances on each card. This way you'll have a better overall picture of why I receive or don't receive the credit line increases I seek. And guys, this is purely for science. Please don't try this at home. I recognize that this could potentially lead to financial reviews that'll require me to send in documentation to support the income that I put down. But let's hop over to the computer and make some magic happen. But before we get into it, I want to take a moment and introduce you to this channel's newest intern. This is Alice, and she's going to be handling a lot of the back-end stuff, like set design and pooping her pants on the job. What can I say? She takes after her daddy. Now, first up, we have the Chase Freedom Flex, opened in 2016, $3,200 credit limit, $0 current statement balance. As we can see here, I have five available Chase credit cards that are eligible to receive a credit limit increase. Let's go ahead and click on the Freedom Flex with the $3,200 limit. Now, all we have to do here is plug in our income and our monthly mortgage payment. And as we can see, Chase is calling for our total gross annual income for this request. Now, another thing to mention is that there's no way to indicate how much of a credit line increase we want. So it seems like it'll be a take what you can get kind of situation. Now, yeah, I'm sure you can call in and maybe request a particular amount, but I'm gonna stick with the online process and see what they give me. And if you look down at the fine print, you'll see that Chase has a note regarding credit freezes. It essentially says to unfreeze your credit to avoid delays with your request. However, my credit is frozen and this should still go through as Chase actually removed the hard pull requirement from credit line increases back in early 2023. So let's go ahead and click next. And yes, everything looks good, submit. All right, so Chase doubled the credit limit on my Freedom Flex, going from $3,200 to $6,400. It's certainly not an amazing limit based on my credit profile, but I also haven't really used this card very much recently. Card number two is my Fidelity Rewards Visa, opened back in 2021. It has a current limit of $4,000, and it has no current statement balance. Now, I'm pretty sure Elon Financial does require a hard pull for credit line increases, so this is probably not gonna go well. All right, so they have us put in our income along with any monetary assets that we wanna be included in the request. I just want it to be based on income here, so let's stick with that. Now that's all plugged in, let's click Continue. And for my monthly housing payment, 22 60 and I own. Let's go ahead and review. Everything looks good. So let's submit. All right, so they received my request and they state that they're not able to increase my credit limit at this time, but they will send me a letter explaining why. All right, so it's eight days later. I just got a letter from Elon Financial, which is the Fidelity Rewards Visa, and they say I didn't get the credit line increase because the account is currently inactive. And they got a point. If you're not using the card, why are they gonna give you more credit? Now, card number three is my US Bank Cash Plus, which was opened back in 2020. This card has a $5,000 credit limit, and the last statement balance was $1,285.08. I just got this letter in the mail from US Bank telling me that my credit limit went from $5,000 $5,000 up to $10,000, effectively doubling the credit limit available on the US Bank Cash Plus. So since I literally just got this automatic credit limit increase, I'm not gonna ask for another one right now. Now, card number four is the Costco Anywhere Visa by City, and this card was opened up back in 2020, has a $5,000 credit limit, and has no statement balance. All right, so request a credit limit increase. Let's see. Now they're saying we will not obtain a credit bureau report to evaluate your request. This is basically saying that they're not gonna do a hard pull. All right, so we enter our income, we enter our monthly mortgage slash rent payment, and let's go ahead and click next. 
Sweet deal. So City actually did increase our credit limit with this card. Our old limit was $5,000 and they brought that up to $7,500. So that's a 50% increase, not too bad. All right, so card number five on this list is the Abound Credit Union Platinum Visa. I opened this card back in 2020. It has a $5,000 credit limit and it has no current statement balance. So I'm not seeing any way to request a credit line increase on Abound's website. So I'm gonna call in and see what they have to say. Thank you for calling Abound Credit Union. This is Lauren, how can I help you? Hey Lauren, I just had a question about my uh, platinum visa with you guys. I was wondering if it's possible to request a credit line increase with the credit card. How does that work with you guys? I believe you can actually fill out a request through your online banking. I was looking on the website. I didn't um, I didn't see anything. I mean, I, I could be missing it, but. Let me check real quick. Let me get confirmation on that. So I went ahead and got confirmation about how to actually go about that process. Okay. And so the way to do that would actually be a new application. So it's not technically uh, requesting an increase on the current card, it's requesting a new card with a higher value. And I'm assuming that would be a hard inquiry to do that, right? Uh, yes, that would be a hard inquiry. Yeah, so we're not doing that. All right, so card number six is the Verizon Visa by Synchrony Bank. Now this card was opened in 2020. It has a $5,500 credit limit and the last statement balance was $212.92. So let's take a look and see if we can request a credit line increase on their website. Website. All right, so Synchrony actually lets you put in the credit line that you want. Request an increase to your current credit limit by providing your requested limit and your annual net income. Net income. You always want to pay attention to the details because Synchrony is actually requesting your net income where normally it's your gross income. So I'm going to ask them to double that 5,500 and make it 11,000. Let's see how it goes. And it says right here, you may be asked to provide your annual net income if we do not have your recent information on file. Income is used to determine eligibility for a credit line increase subject to credit approval. I don't want to go too crazy with Synchrony because they have been known to shut down accounts if the credit limit's too high. All right, so we have all our information plugged in. Let's go ahead and request credit limit increase. Boom. All right, we're pleased to inform you that effective immediately, your credit limit has been increased to $11,000. All right, maybe I should ask for more, I don't know. Card number seven is the American Express Blue Cash Every Day, which I opened way back in 2016. This card has a current credit limit of $7,500 and has no current statement balance. All right, so Amex lets you request your desired credit limit, but requests must be in increments of $100. All right, so our current limit is $7,500. Let's try to three exit. If we're able to three exit, that means we're gonna have $22,500. So let's go ahead and plug that in. All right, so now they're requesting that I confirm my annual income and they're not specifying whether it's gross or it's net. So I'm gonna assume that it's gross. Now Amex does give you the option to include your financial assets as part of this request, but it is optional. For me, I'm gonna leave this part blank and just go with total annual income. And this little fine print at the bottom says by providing your income, you certify that the information provided is accurate and complete to the best of your knowledge. The income information provided is subject to verification, which is known as a financial review. And it also says failure to provide information may lead to reassessment of your overall relationship with American Express. So if you do get hit with a financial review and you say, I'm not giving you any documents, well, they may just very well close your accounts. All right, so let's do it. All right, so that exact situation just happened. In order for us to complete our review, please provide the three most recent consecutive bank statements from your personal bank accounts where your income is deposited and or the majority of your funds are held by directly connecting your bank account or by manually attaching them in PDF format. All right, so we're gonna go through this process and give Amex the information that they want. All right, so I just uploaded the documents, let's see. All right, so unfortunately that's gonna take a couple weeks. All right, so I've submitted three months worth of bank statements per Amex's request. Let's fast forward to when they respond with either the approval or the denial. All right, so that was much faster than I anticipated. I submitted the documents at 3.30 p.m. EST, and I woke up to an email from Amex at 4.36 in the morning the following day with good news. They've approved my request to increase my credit limit from $7,500 all the way up to $22,500. I gotta say, I was not expecting that full increase, so this is a huge win. And as far as the financial review, it was definitely a lot less painful than I expected it to be. Now card number eight is my Lowe's Advantage by Synchrony Bank, which I opened back in 2020. This card has a $9,000 credit limit and has a current statement balance of $1,279.61. I bought a new power washer in case you were wondering. 
So they make it very easy to request a higher credit limit by placing the request button right on the main account page. All right, so for the Lowe's Advantage Visa, I don't know if I wanna quite ask for 18,000, that might be a bit too much. So I'm going to ask for 15. Let's see. Good to go. And last credit limit increase. All right, sweet deal. $9,000 up to $15,000. Card number nine is the Chase Sapphire Preferred, which I opened up back in 2020. And you know what that means. That means in 2024, I'll be eligible to receive that sweet, sweet Sapphire welcome bonus. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. This card has a credit limit of $9,500 and has a current statement balance of $191.25. I'm kind of getting the feeling that Chase is only gonna authorize that first credit limit increase and none of the others, but we'll still take a look. Let's give it a go. Credit limit increase is not available for this card right now. Card number 10 is the OG Chase Freedom, which I opened back in the dark ages of 2012. This card has a credit limit of $11,500 and a current statement balance of $0. Now, I did receive an automatic credit line increase with this card about five months ago. The card was sitting at a limit of $5,500 and Chase bumped it up to $11,500. However, we can still take a look to see if there's anything available. And unfortunately, Chase is saying there's nothing that's currently available. But if we remember back to card number one, this card was on that list of cards that were eligible for credit limit increases. I think Chase just has some sort of account-wide credit limit request limit. Perhaps they only allow one credit limit request per account every so often. Now, if you have some insight on this, definitely comment down below. So for card number 11, we have my Chase Amazon Prime Visa, which I opened way back in 2014. This card has a credit limit of $15,000 and a current statement balance of $299.27. I'm assuming there's not going to be a credit limit increase available, but let's take a look. There we go. Nothing. And card number 12 is another Chase Freedom Flex. This one was opened in January 2023. It has a current limit of $15,900, and the last statement balance was $774.41. Assuming there's not going to be anything available, but let's take a look. Nothing available as expected. Card number 13 is my Bank of America Travel Rewards card, which I opened back in 2019. This card has a $15,000 credit limit and has a current statement balance of $0. Bank of America makes it very simple to request a credit line increase as they have the link right on the account summary page. So Bank of America is requesting authorization to obtain a copy of my credit report, so it looks like they most likely will try and make a hard inquiry. But the nice thing about Bank of America's credit line request form is you're able to request a specific credit Line. Now, this request form is calling for gross annual income, which is pretty standard. This includes everything you expect to earn for the year, so you can project if you'd like. As far as the credit line increase I'm going to request, I guess I'm going to ask for double. $30,000. I know this is most likely going to get declined anyway since my reports are frozen, but who knows? Let's give it a shot. Submit. All right, so the request has been submitted, but it's going to take seven to 10 business days to receive a written decision. All right, so it's about 20 hours later, Bank of America got back to me. They said, thank you for your request. After careful review, we're unable to approve your request for a credit line increase on your signature visa card. And I'm willing to bet this is just because my accounts were frozen and they wanted to do a hard pull, but were unable to. Actually, it's exactly one week after I requested the credit line increase and I just got this in the mail. You guessed it, it's from Bank of America and they say we carefully reviewed your request along with economic and loss trends and the reports provided by the consumer reporting agency listed below. We also considered your relationship with us and unfortunately we weren't able to approve what you asked for because of the following reason. Too many accounts were recently opened. Okay, so that's really interesting. I have read that if you don't have a bank account with Bank of America, which I don't, they have a 312 rule. However, I thought that only applied to new credit card applications. Now, I have opened four new personal credit cards in the past 12 months, five if you count my authorized user card for my wife's World of Hyatt card. So I don't know, perhaps it is that rule that's preventing me from getting a credit line increase. Card number 14 is the Discover It Cashback, which I opened in 2015. This card has a respectable $16,500 credit limit with the current statement balance of $211.12. All right, so for the Discovery Cashback, we simply go up to card services and then credit line increase. Let's take a look. Total annual gross income. Enter your information below to help us determine how much of a credit line increase you may be eligible for. All right, so Discover doesn't let you put in a specific request, so we simply put in our income and then we put in our monthly housing slash rent payment. And we'll go from there. Current credit line, $16,500. Let's go ahead and click submit and see what happens. 
At this time, we cannot increase your credit line. However, you can make another request at a future time. You will receive a letter detailing the reasons for this decision. All right, it is what it is. All right, so it's about eight days later and I just got a letter from Discover explaining why I didn't get the credit line increase. And they said it's because of low usage on existing line of credit in previous months. So this just goes to show you that you actually have to use these cards in order for the lender to give you more credit. And I've been using this card a little bit, but nowhere near that max credit limit. Card number 15 is the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards card, which I opened back in 2006. This card has a $20,800 limit and no current statement balance. I I remember opening this card up 17 years ago and being astonished at how much of a credit limit they gave me at the time. I think my starting limit was $16,000, which just felt insane for me as a 20 year old. So let's go through the same process we went through for the travel rewards visa. Now, since this card has a higher limit than the travel rewards visa, I'm not gonna ask for quite as much of an increase in comparison. Let's ask for $30,000 again. All right, so everything is filled out. Let's go ahead and click submit. Yep, they're gonna let us know in seven to 10 business days. All right, so we got the same exact letter for this card that we got for the travel rewards card. The reason I got declined was due to too many recently opened accounts. Card number 16 is the Built Master card, one of my favorite cards for the year, and I opened this card back in February of 2023. This card has a credit limit of $22,000 and a current statement balance of $217.65. All right, so if we go into our account on Wells Fargo and navigate to credit card FAQs, we'll see that we need to actually call into Wells Fargo to request an increase. So let's do it. Okay. Credit limit. Please hold while I connect you with a banker who can help you. Welcome to Wells Fargo. This is Eric on a recorded monetary lane. How can I assist you today? Hi, is it possible to request a credit line increase? Yeah, I can definitely assist in that. Can I please get your first and last name to pull up the account? Okay, and then I do see that you have a total credit limit of 22000 What would you like the total credit increase limit to be? Uh, can we bring it up to 25000 Okay, I can definitely put in that request for you. Give me one second. Okay, so Mr. Butler, um, we do have to add a second address. Um, so what I can do is I, I will add, do you have a home telephone number or is it just a cell phone? Just a cell phone. Okay, so we will add the home telephone number um, to be the same as the cell phone number. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, so in order to process your increased request, I will need your gross monthly yearly income, monthly housing expense, consent to pull the credit report if needed. Income from the following sources are not required to be listed unless you want them to be considered. Child support, alimony, or separate maintenance payment. If you're 21 or older and regularly use income from others to pay your bills, you can include that. Your request will be submitted based on this information. Do you wish to proceed now? Yes. And then if you could please provide me with the gross yearly income? 190000 And is there any additional income that you would like to include? No. Okay, and then do you rent or do you pay on a mortgage? Mortgage, twenty two sixty. Okay, so your requested increase amount of 3000 should be reflected immediately. Your new credit limit is 25000 All right, so I wasn't expecting that to go through, but clearly it did, assuming they didn't have to do a hard pull or it probably wouldn't have went through. I didn't want to request a crazy amount of money because then they probably would have had to do a hard pull. So hey, that's one for the win column. Now, card number 17 is my Capital One Venture X, which I opened right before the Built MasterCard in January of 2023. This this card has a credit limit of $30,000 and a current statement balance of $1,222.36. All right, so for the Capital One Venture X, I'm gonna request 40,000, which will bump it up 10,000 from where it's at. And let's take a look. Why are, okay, so maximum desired line, 40,000. Why are you requesting a credit line increase? I prefer not to answer. Actually, let's put 50,000, all right. <laughs> nice so they give me 1000 more <laughs> not quite what i was expecting i was expecting at least like 35000 but whatever a very respectable $1,000 credit line increase on the Capital One Venture X, bringing this card up to a whopping $31,000. Now to touch on the three business cards I have. Card number 18, which is the first business card on the list, is the Amex Blue Business Plus, which I opened back in October 2022. Now, this card came with a starting limit of $10,000 and has a current statement balance of $883.43. All right, so for the Amex Blue Business Plus, let's navigate over to Account Services and then Request Credit Limit increase. Our total limit's $10,000. Let's see if we can 3x it all the way up to $30,000. All right, so we were approved for the $30,000, effectively tripling our limit with this card. 
That was easy. Card number 19 is my Chase Inc. Business Unlimited, which I just opened in May of 2023. Now, Chase started me off with an $11,000 limit with this card, which is currently what it still is. And this card has a current statement balance of $2,767.55. All right, so I'm actually not gonna request a credit line increase for this card because I've only had it open for a few months at this point. Ideally, I'd wanna have this card open for at least six months before requesting a credit line increase. So that brings us to card number 20, which is the Amex Amazon Business. Prime card. I opened this card in November 2022 and it has a starting limit of $20,000. The current statement balance on this card is sitting at $113.13. All right, and now for the Amex Amazon Business Prime card, we can navigate over to account services and then request credit limit increase. And Amex says, we're sorry, you are not able to request another credit limit increase on this account because you recently had your credit limit increased. Now, I've never requested a credit limit increase on this particular account, but maybe it's basing that off of the Blue Business Plus. Who knows? You can't win them all. All right, guys, Josh from the future here. I ended up letting one entire month pass since I requested all those credit line increases. I wanted to see if I let maybe 30 days pass since my last credit line increase with Chase, would they then allow me to get another credit line increase on one of my other Chase cards? So let's revisit Chase and take a look. Now for this one, I'm gonna request a credit limit increase on the card that has the next lowest credit limit, which is my Chase Sapphire Preferred, which has a $9,500 limit. All right, so we find the card and then we click more down to request a credit limit increase. And now here Chase is telling me that I have four cards that are eligible for a credit limit increase. So let's go ahead and choose the Chase Sapphire Preferred. And these figures haven't changed, so let's just go ahead and click next. All right, everything looks okay. Let's go ahead and click submit and see what happens. All right, so they just about doubled the limit, going from $9,500 all the way up to $18,500. That's actually more than I thought it was gonna be. So now that we got this credit limit increase for our Chase Sapphire Preferred, let's go back to our accounts and see if those other three cards are still eligible to get increases. But I'm assuming they're not gonna be. Exactly what I thought was gonna happen. A credit limit increase isn't available for this card right now. So it's indeed looking like Chase limits credit limit increases to one per 30 days. But if you have a different experience, definitely let me know down in the comments. So we had a pretty mixed bag of successes and failures for these credit line increases. But overall, where do we stand? Let's talk about the biggest increase on a single card, the overall increase in my total available credit, and what that translates to if we look at it on a percentage basis. The largest increase I got on a single card was was actually a tie between my Amex Blue Cash Every Day and my Amex Blue Business Plus. They both gave me a 200% increase, which is just wacky. And it goes to show you how generous Amex is with these credit lines. Unless you're CJ, of course. Now, as far as my overall available credit across all cards, remember, we started at $241,400. We were able to increase our total available credit by 29.08% across the board with our new grand total coming out to $311,600. That's insane. We crested $300,000. But does this increased available credit matter? No. Once you get to a point where your monthly expenditures account for less than about 10% of your total available credit, you're golden. And an important note about this $311,600 in available credit is that my business credit cards don't report to my personal credit. So in reality, I now have $250,600 in total available personal credit. And that's an increase of 25.05% up from $200,400. Not too bad. Now, yes, there were quite a few cards that we were denied a credit line increase for, and there were a couple cards that we decided against requesting one for. Now, if we take those cards out of the mix, our initial total available credit was $106,700 across 10 cards, and we were able to walk out the door with $176,900 in total. That's a 65.79% average increase. Hell yeah. So if you enjoy this type of content, do me and Alice a huge favor and click that subscribe button. And if you want to see the credit cards that I personally use on a daily basis, I think you're going to enjoy this video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.